do have a lot of ranches in the area uh, from all sorts of livestock. We have cows, horses, uh, sheep, goats, uh, wild animal emus. We have some uh, interesting animals out here. It will attack you if it's scared, if it's cornered. How long have you been chasing this cow, partner? Oh, 45 minutes, an hour. 40 45 minutes. minutes to an hour. Never boring, huh? Oh, no. How did it get out? Oh, uh, our, our fence was a uh, wasn't well prepared. Everything's okay. Nobody got hurt. We're, everybody's going home. Well, we got mom and seven babies. We were able to wrap up the babies and put them in a box. Mom <laughs> flew up. So we're trying to drive it back to her. So now we're trying to get the little baby geese to to her mom. Oh, look at all these. There's seven of them. No, no, stay there. I don't know. Mom jumped up on the road with all of them. She got them up there somehow. Go in the water. Oh, no. Well, they are following you. It's called printing, isn't it? <laughs> They're like, Mommy, you The other goose is coming to them, but they won't get in the water. I got a loose one. Oh, Like 442. Oh. 400 at 1614. <laughs> wow, that was quite a process. You just never know what you're going to be doing out here on these highways or what's going to happen throughout the day. You know, you're thinking you're going to catch bad guys, but sometimes you do things like this. We were able to successfully get them back in the pond, so it's a good day. Evidently, there's a uh, full sized zebra wandering around the area. I suppose it's been in and out of traffic. We are uh, running a traffic break, trying to keep all uh, vehicles away from the, the zebra. At this point, we've uh, trapped the zebra in the backyard of a residence, and we're giving it some time to relax and I'm chill out. Survey what our fence situation here is. According to the trainer, the zebra would have no problem going right through a fence. And he is pretty amped up. Past our sucker. Got the lasso on now. Got the lasso on. The trainer got the lasso on the head of the zebra, but there was no way he was going to be able to hold on to it. That zebra is very strong and very fast. Okay, guys, back off. Back off. All units have been told to look out for a dog on the loose. Oh my god, it's coming back, is it? I've got some dried beef. It's running everywhere. What's this? He's playing with me. Yeah, He's looking at me. Little bugger. <laughs> An hour later, the dog still hasn't broken cover, and Tats gives up the chase. Happily, the owner was eventually reunited with his beloved pet. 
You're not running off again. No. <laughs> he was caught by a security guard, much to Tat's disbelief. Got a saucy droll and it worked wonders. So, uh, hail to the saucy droll, I say. In Grantham, New Hampshire, conservation officer John Demler's first case of the day is a bird in distress. He's on that. See him? Yeah, it's a little guy. Yeah. And the doors have been open for the a day or something. All night. And then, you know, all the windows, but you can't really open the windows. <laughs> hey, buddy, you gotta go. You can't hang out in here. Pretty hot. There's no real uh, cooling system in there. There's no fans running. So the higher up you get, more of the heat's trapped inside. At this point, he's probably really stressed and really hot. Um, he might not have that much energy left. I was pretty surprised to be able to use the catch pole as a perch for the hawk. Coming out. Let him sit here for a minute, hopefully cool off. I guess we'll give him a little space. It's flying. It's going to be OK. Just got a call from a complainant at the Beaumont Yacht Club. She's got a gator there, come real friendly. When they get where they're not afraid of human presence, that can become a danger. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably six to seven foot. Game warden Boone calls in backup. Just gives me extra hands in relocating these alligators. Okay. Get your stuff rigged up and then we'll We'll make heads and way. Somebody's probably hand fed these alligators. And when they get fed in the wild by the public, they associate people with food. The gator bit down on a baited hook. A second hook is used to pull him close enough to capture. Got him. I got him. Grab hold of that tail or anything you can grab. Okay. Get him. He's gonna roll on you. Fight. I got him. The tail on an alligator can produce a lot of force against you. Come on. He's rolling. Got him. Got him. I got him. Go ahead, man. He's done. Outstanding. Let's do it. The gator has become too accustomed to humans, so it will be relocated to a 15-acre reptile preserve. All right. Holler if you need something. We're headed up here north to Sour Lake to Absolute Oil Field Services. Got a call. This doe had got into their work yard, and it's a high fence containment. Good morning, guys. How are you? Who's the sharpshooter? In this particular case, I've got a breeder that I know well that's close to the area. He's got a lot of experience in darting deer, relocating deer. So I've asked him to come along so we can get a dart into her and move this deer to a safer location. Yeah, this is going to be the most humane way, basically to herd the deer into one corner of the property so we could get an effective, efficient shot within about, oh, anywhere from 30 to 50 yards. Coming at you. She's a runner. Easy ass deer. Get over here and rope her. Easy, easy, easy. Perfect. Oh, yeah. She got a little buzz going on right now. Mama, you have had too many cervezas. <laughs> there she goes. Let her lay there for a little bit. Yeah. They're releasing the deer in the big thicket, a 112,000 acre preserve. Mama, wake up. There she goes. She's a little, a little stumbly. Well, I appreciate the help on this thing, guys. She got her legs under her now. Back north in Texarkana, Game Warden Hervey and partner Daniel Rohrbach respond to a nuisance animal call. Got some nets to catch some geese in. She has been watering her yard with grape Kool-Aid. I cannot make this up. 
She read somewhere online that grape Kool-Aid will make geese leave your property. I think if I was a goose, I might like that. Nobody's in really any danger. It's more of an animal nuisance thing. They're using the restroom on people's front porch, and goose poop does stink. That's actually ducks with them. Push them around that corner and see if you can put them in that garage. Got one. Don't you poop on me. This went a lot smoother than what I was anticipating. Reunited with her family. Find a way to...